Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a single scene containing multiple characters. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The other day, someone left a comment requesting a tutorial on creating a scene containing multiple characters. This can be a great way to add more depth and intrigue to your videos. Doodly makes it easy to create scenes with different characters so you can tell your story in an engaging and visually appealing way. Today we'll use three or four characters. I'll probably have one in the foreground and then a couple in the background. This means the character in the front will be much larger than the ones in the back. And you can see that in this little sample screen I have here already. So I have Philip, and he's jumping from the background to the foreground. And you'll notice when he's far away, he's much smaller than when he's up front. You'll also see that I use some opacity settings to make him lighter the further away he is from us. So let's go ahead and create a scene. And let's find some characters. I've typed in casual, and I'm going to find some casual characters. So we have Luciana. Let's take Yuki, and let's take, let's have Aya. And then I'd like one sitting down. And let's take Bradley, the handsome young man. We're gonna have Bradley in the front, so he's gonna be our large character. He's gonna be much larger than the others. And then we'll have these guys these two together. We'll have her behind him. Uh, let's do one more. Let's add, let's add Baco. Okay, and then we'll have him further back. So Baco here is going to be further back, so he's going to be much smaller than these two. So he's back farther. And same with Aya here. We're going to make her a little bit smaller. And now we're going to change the opacity settings. So these two are closer, so we're going to put them at about 60% opacity. And you do that by clicking the little gear icon right here. And for him, he's further back, so I'm going to put him at, four, let's say, 40%. And then same with Aya here. I'm going to have to select her this way. The gear icon and we'll say 40%. So that gives us our perspective and depth. Another thing that we can do is let's type in shadow. I have some little shadows that I had created a while back ago in another program and they're just basically little blurs of gray. And we're going to put shadow underneath our characters back here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for Baco and this other girl. It's going to be smaller because he's smaller. And it's going to be lighter. So again, we can change the opacity. And I like that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it. And put it down here for Aya. And move it. So it's behind her a little bit. Now let's just add a speech bubble to finish up our scene here. And there you have it. That's a way that you can work with multiple characters in a single scene in Diddly. Thanks for watching.